Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, good day again, everyone. Today, we will be learning about how to transform quadratic functions. Okay, and um, what do I mean by transforming quadratic functions is that um, not all the given or the questions that will be provided to you will be in this form. First one is in the either in the standard form or in our vertex form. Okay, so hindi lahat ng pagkakataon na sa ganyang case. And what do I mean by that? Uh, given should be expressed in the standard form or the vertex form so that you will be able to identify all the parts that is necessary for you. What do I mean by that? Because, for example, dito sa unang given natin, this one, it's easily identifiable the, yung, um, the values for A, B, and C. And why is it important to get to get the values of A, B, and C? Because for the quadratic, func um, quadratic formula, which is, of course, um, negative p plus minus the square root of p squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, ang importante lang, the important thing that you need to get here is the values of a, b, and c. Okay? So, that's why it's very important for you to know uh, to transform your given in the standard form because it's very visible all those things. I, I mean, all those things are very visible. You can see it immediately. The same goes when it comes to the vertex form. In the vertex form, what is important here? It's important to get the 4a. It's important to get the h. And then to get the k. Because in the vertex form, we are graphing this, the given, um, in a para parabolic um, form. Sabihin, paraboling given natin, ang graph niya is like this. So, importante dyan yung vertex. And then, of course, yung 4a. Things like that. Okay. Later on, we will see bakit importante. So, as for now, we just simply need to transform our given either in the standard form or in the vertex form. So, um, maybe let's start. Okay. Our first example. Um, we have f of x is equal to x minus 5 squared. Okay. So, in this case, um, this one is already in our vertex form. Bakit? Kasi in the vertex form, you need to get the 4a, h, and k. So, meaning this one is already in the vertex form in the sense that you will have 1 outside because it's already always multiplied by 1. This is your h, this one. Okay, and you have plus 0 which is your k. Okay, so paano nangyaring vertex form yan? Again, kapag vertex form, the only thing that's important is you have this part. You have x minus 5 parentheses squared. So, you will have a binomial. Um, square of binomial for you the value of your x okay so this one is already in the vertex form okay so next one let's try to express our given in the standard form in the standard form what i need to do is i need to evaluate our given meaning kailangan magkaroon ako ng x squared okay so if i want to evaluate that i need to apply the square of binomial here where in given the square of binomial it would be like this Square the first term, I think first term, I think second term. Okay, square the first term twice the product of the first and second that's x times negative 5, it's times 2, it's negative 10x, and then square the last term plus negative 5 squared is 25. So this is already in your standard form. Bakit? Kasi you have your x squared, you have your x, 10x, negative 10x, and you have your 25. Meaning, you have your ax squared plus bx plus c. Please don't mind yung plus yung operation, okay? This is just generally plus negative 10x. Okay? So, already in the standard form. So, therefore, our given, which is f of x, is equals to x minus 5 squared. Okay? The vertex form is just simply 1 x minus 5 squared plus 0 and the standard form is just simply um, x squared minus 10x plus 25 I hope you got that okay so next example let's proceed okay, our next example is um, uh, for a while let's let me, let me whip something up Okay, um, say we have our f of x is 
equals to um, uh, x squared plus say 4x plus 5 yeah now in this case this one is already in its standard form so meaning is standard form natin eto na again okay but yung case natin in this given is wala pa tayong wala pa tayong square yung square of binomial part meaning kapag kami square of binomial part tayo dapat meron tayong gantong part and how do we get that um, if the given is not a perfect square trinomial, what we need to do is we need to apply the completing the square. Again, if not in PST, then we apply completing, oops, sorry, completing the square, CTS, okay? Completing the square. So, check natin, is this PST or not? So, we can check that the given is PST. If um, you get this one, the middle term, divide it by 2 and you get the square, the answer would be yung last term. So, let's check. 4 divided by 2, that's 2 and we get the square, the answer is 4. This is definitely not 4, therefore hindi tayo gagamit ang ano ng PST. Gagamitin natin yung CTS or completing the square. So, let's try to do the completing the square. We have f of x here. I will leave a space because that is the rule for completing the square. You leave a space always. And we have x squared plus 4x, leave a space, plus 5, divide this middle term by 2, which is 4. Ang kailangan natin sa P, uh, P, um, CTS is the B over 2 squared. Okay, and this is 4 over 2, you get the square, the answer is also 4. So we'll add plus 4 on both sides. Okay, having this plus 4 on both sides, we will have, of course, factor out na ito, we can already factor that out, this would be x squared, I'm sorry x plus 2 squared plus 5 and this is f of x plus 4 okay, and then of course transpose on the other side so this is f of x is equals to x plus 2 squared plus 5 minus 4 giving us an answer of x plus 2 squared plus 1 and this is already your vertex 4 having of course may 1 dito lag so nahan kapag there is no numerical coefficient there and of course we have our 4a we have our h and we have our k therefore this is already in your vertex 4 okay i hope you did follow on that okay uh, let's have another example okay um before we go uh, pala okay um it's just simply uh, no, um algebraic manipulation meaning you just have to check whether ano yung mga kailangan yung gawin para gawin mo siyang vertex form or standard form because the thing about this one class is it's not exactly okay it will not exactly go according to plan what do i mean by that hindi po laging iisa yung pamamaraan ng pagsosolve ng transformation Meaning, it's a combination of things that you are that you are already aware of, or things that you are you already know. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Hindi na hubago sa inyo si PST dapat. Okay, completing the square hindi narin bago yan kasi it was discussed previously. Okay, what else? Um, this one, yon quadratic formula hindi narin bago yan sa inyo. Okay, that's why it's important. Okay, and even actually the standard form hindi narin yan bago sa inyo. This one, okay. So you must always be um, aware na yung mga topics that we are discussing before are very important for our um, succeeding topics. So that, of course, sana i-master nyo, okay? So, um, maybe let's have our next given. Um, say we have... Say we have something different. Okay, say we have this. Um, let's use y na lang kasi it's the same as f of x 3x plus 2 and we have x minus 1 okay? this given of course hindi siya nasa standard form not in the standard form it's not also on the vertex form so what do we need to do we need to transform it both on these cases and the first one for the standard form kailangan meron ka lang x squared yun lang po yung importante so what do we need to do here is we need to apply the distributive property or the FOIL method okay so FOIL method 
magpa-foil tayo. So, this would be um, 3x squared. Okay, um, plus, I'm gonna guess it's going to be plus x and minus 2. It's gonna be plus x and minus 2. Bakit? Kasi ito ay 3x, ito ay negative 3x. Oh yeah, it's minus x. Sorry. So, it's gonna be minus x. And of course, 2 times x is 2x. So, negative 3x and 2x, simply negative x. And 2 times negative 1, the answer is negative 2. Okay, so yan, having this thing na, okay, automatically kapag may na-express mo in that form na magkakasama on one side, all the given terms and also the constant, and on the other side, nag-iisa si y or the f of x, then we are already in our standard form. Now, on the vertex form, standard form na siya, okay? Now, on the vertex form, ang kailangan lang natin gawin, you have to check, is it PST or not? If not, then you go to CST or the completing I, CTS okay so obviously this one is not in PSC then we go to um, completing the square and completing the square will demand you to have your given or your x squared having only one as its numerical coefficient so ibig sabihin ito mapapansin nyo may 3 siya and how do we remove the 3 for example nyo 4x squared ka paano asin sa 4x divide mo by 4 so, may x squared ka na lang. Kasi din divide mo by 4. So, the same goes in our given. You will have 3x squared minus x minus 2. So, divide mo siya by 3. Easy enough, right? So, ngayon, but the thing about this one is hindi naman kasi mag-isa si 3x squared. May mga kasama siyang iba which is negative x and negative 2 and y. Okay, in equality po, ang sabi nga natin, Kapag ginawa mo sa kaliwa, gawin mo sa kanan. Whatever operation you do on the left side, you also do on the right side. And what, when I mean on the right side, everything on the right side. Ito yung left and right. So, everything, pag dinivide mo isa sa 3, divide mo lahat by 3. And of course, the same goes here. So, you will have y over 3 equals to, of course, x squared na lang yan, minus x over 3 kasi hindi naman pwede minus 2 over 3 kasi hindi rin naman pwede. Okay? So, what do I need to do here now is again leave spaces po. Leave spaces. Minus 2 thirds. Please don't complicate this one. Okay? Mangyari lang dito class is the same lang po yung rules. You need to get b over 2 squared. And our b is what? It's 1 third. Bakit? x over 3 okay? That is 1 third. Okay po, x over 3 is also 1 over 3 x 1 third. Kasi may 1 dyan. Okay? Lagi may katabing 1 ang lahat ng variable. For example, you have x, lagi may 1 dyan. Y, lagi may 1. Z, lagi may 1. Please take a note of that. Okay po? So, our b is 1 third. So, we will have 1 third over 2 squared. And 1 third over 2 squared will give you an answer of... 1 over 6, I guess. And you get the square of that. That would just simply be, um, yeah, let me check out, 1 third divided by 2. Yeah, it's 1 over 6. And then, it will give you an answer of 1 over 36. Okay, meaning I will add 1 over 36 on both sides. Okay, then the next thing I do, I will do the factoring of PST. So, the answer here would be x minus 1 over 6 squared minus 2 thirds. Same, same. y over 3 plus 1 over 36. Okay. Next. Next step. Okay. Ilipat mo na lahat dun sa kabila. So, meaning it would have y over 3 is equals to isa-isa lang muna, pero lahat ililipat nyo. x minus 1 over 6 minus 2 thirds plus 1 over 36 and adding this one okay i will leave the adding of this one to, to you guys because you're supposed to know this already because ito po ay fractions lang okay 1 over 36 the answer would be x minus 1 over 6 squared sorry i forgot the square here plus i mean sorry it's minus 23 over 36 
and then you have y over 3 here. Are you done? No, you're not done yet. You will still have something beside y. So, meaning mangyari gan, ililipat mo siya sa kabila. y is equals to, ito, divided by 3, di ba? Pag nilipat, magiging times. So, for me to eliminate that, I will multiply both sides by 3. Take note, wala pong, um, ang nangyari lang po dito is distributive property. Okay. So, this one is considered as 1 and this one is considered as 1. So, meron tayong dalawang terms. Okay. So, what would happen would be 3 times x minus 1 over 6 squared minus 23 times 3 divided by 36. Simplest form. Ito. Multiply yan dito. Okay. Eh, kaso pwede natin i-cancel out yan. Kasi 36 and 3 yan. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. So, this is 23 over 12. And of course, wala ka ng other things beside y. And you have achieved your square of binomial, which is very important for the vertex form. Therefore, you are, already, you are already done. This is your 4a. This is your h. And this is your k. Already in the vertex form. Yes, I know that it would be a little bit confusing. But of course, you just have to go back to our rulings. Okay? that we have established and also our guide questions for your ano, um, for your uh, problems okay so anyways that is how you transform we have three examples here and of course i think this would be the a complete ito na yung complicated one regarding ano, our problem itong sa third example so please uh, take a note of this third example okay so um Maybe let's, we will just have a another example during our synchro, synchronous classes, okay? So again, thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.